Syndrome. Today, we're talking about the games in my birthday month. Yeah, I'm a Leo. Talking about the games of August. Let's dive in. You went out looking for a big score, but ended up with the devil taking your soul. Want to get it back? First up, coming out on the 4th, is Hard West 2. I never played the first Hard West, but I love the Wild West, and I like strategy games. It's like an isometric strategy Western game. It looks a little bit different than Desperados 3. Be sure to check out Desperados 3. Oh my god, the game is so, so good. Desperados 3. But Hard West, the fact that this sequel is coming out uh, makes me interested to go back and take another look at the original. Uh, so they're stoked because I feel like when a sequel comes out, that's what you want people doing. Go back, check out the original. Sequel's about to drop. Take back what's yours. Next up on August 5th is Gigabash. Great name, really fun to yell. You know I love words that you can just yell out. Gigabash! <laughs> really fun. And I love kaijus, okay? I love them. Godzilla, Pacific Rim is my number one. Everyone just go watch Pacific Rim, just do it. It's, it's as good a day as any to fire it up. Pacific Rim and Pacific Rim Uprising, please. Please do not say bad things about Pacific Rim Uprising. If you don't have anything nice to say about it, just don't say it at all. I love that movie. But Gigabash, it looks like Power Stone with Kaijus. I'm super down. Hopefully we can convince the allies for a little group stream action on this thing. Got my eye on you, Gigabash. Coming out on August 9th, Two Point Campus. Looks jolly. You know one of my favorite genres of all time are coming of age tales, school dramas. Give me that Degrassi hype. Two Point Campus just looks like a really fun time uh, to design your, your little university and see what happens. Never really mess around with Two Point Hospital. I don't like hospitals. I do not want to ever be in a hospital. Ever. I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear about it. But universities, all day, every day, even twice on Sundays. Next up on the 11th, we got a double dose of games. First is Cult of the Lamb. The game follows a possessed lamb who was saved from death and must repay their debt by creating a loyal following in the stranger's name. Sounds semi like Cuphead a little bit, making a deal with someone sinister, somebody wrong. Cult of the Lamb, we've had a lot of good indie games in 2022. A lot of good indie games over the last decade, but I feel like this year's popping off with some. Will Cult of the Lamb be one of them? We will see. To challenge the dungeon's overlord Shimura, there ain't anything sheepish about it. The next up is Rumbleverse. I am getting so hyped for this game. It just looks like professional wrestling, brawling it up. It, it has a very nice style and playfulness to it. I cannot wait to get my hands on this game. I haven't played any betas or, or network tests or anything. Uh, just, just stoked. Like, I want to play this with Bradley Ellis so bad I cannot even contain myself. Then coming out on the 12th, one of the easiest 10 out of 10s of all time, the absolute pinnacle of easy recommendations. I could recommend this game to any human being on this planet. Spider-Man is coming to PC. If you have not had the chance to play Spider-Man and you have a PC, you're in for one hell of a week. Enjoy yourself, that's all I gotta say about that. Spider-Man, truly one of the best games ever made. Then coming out on the 16th, I thought it was already in early access, but it was pre-alpha this whole time. Finally hitting early access, not even fully released, but 
I am invested. I am a fan. That is why it is getting the spotlight here. Gloomwood. Gloomwood, Victorian era, gothic, nightmare creatures vibes in an immersive sim. I cannot wait. Download the demo, play it right now after watching this, or just wait for early access coming right up. Early access, you know I don't usually mess around with that, but for this, I, I can't wait any longer, Gloomwood. I've waited years, I cannot wait any longer, I'm all in. Also that same day, you can check out a preview from Bradley Ellis and I talking about Roller Drome from Roll 7 of Ollie Ollie Hype. Did a full preview on this, that's coming out on the 16th as well. Tony Hawk Cross Roller Blades Cross Max Payne. <laughs> Coming out on the 18th, Curse to Golf. Always a fan of weird little quirky golf games, whatever they may be. Uh, just a fun genre, like quirky golf game genre. Good one. That same day, Themesia, I hope I said that right. This is a Souls-like. We're gonna be getting these for years and years to come. The genre has been born, so, you know, don't roll your eyes just because it's a Souls-like. It's just another genre now. It's not a knockoff. It's just another game in the genre. And this one looks sweet. The vi like visually, I've only seen a 90 second trailer on this game, but visually it looks really awesome. Sick animations, sick art style, kind of that that gothic souls look. Very intrigued. One of one of these situations where uh, I'll just look over at Bradley Ellis and he'll gladiator that shit. He'll go you know, whichever one it is is what I do for this case. Then on the 19th, all you football fanatics out there, Madden 23, I've been out of the Madden game for a long time, so I can't bring any expertise to this discussion. I apologize, the last time I played Madden was probably like six or seven years ago, it's been a while. I'm waiting for the one to come out that just gets like universal acclaim again and is just heralded as, you know, the best Madden in years. I'm waiting for that moment and then I'll probably hop in for a little bit. It feels like, feels like time, I'm ready. Then on the 23rd, Midnight Fight Express! We are in one of the best years for beat-em-ups there is. I mean, this this is the, a year of the beat-em-up. Like, 2021-2022 has been very, very kind to beat-em-up fans. This one looks awesome. They just came out with a developer video about the motion capture in this game. Really insightful stuff. Really interesting to just hear the design philosophy of this game. Cannot wait. We're brawling. Also that same day, a Saints Row reboot. I'm so pumped to go back to Saints Row. Many of you out there know I adore the first two Saints Rows, one and two. Saints Row one, when that came out on Xbox 360, the rocket launcher in that game was an absolute showpiece. Show it some love in the comments if you remember. I know many of you do. It was such a showpiece. It had the trail around it, little smoke trail, the explosions. Saints Row 1 and 2, phenomenal. Then with 3, it gets all crazy. I know a lot of people love the craziness of Saints Row 3 and 4, but uh, that's just kind of where I fell off. Back to the basics with this reboot. It looks to be the best of both worlds, a little more serious, also comedic, like, the, like 3 and 4, kind of threading the needle, hopefully. And they added the character creator. They, they just released that recently. You can create your character and import them in the game to check that out. I love when they do weird little things like that. Saints Row, very intrigued. This is gonna go one of two ways, right? Like, Saints Row is gonna be fucking awesome or it's gonna be fine, I feel like. What's it gonna be? I am so ready for Saints Row to be awesome. And we round out the month with a couple games. One of them, Destroy All Humans 2 remake, is coming out. Uh, definitely want to give these remakes a shot. You know, just, it, Don loves Destroy All Humans. And I just want to, I want to play Destroy All Humans and just talk to Don about it. That sounds fun. Let me show you how it's done. yippee ki -yay, mother. But the 30th, the main event of the month, the absolute main event of the month, and one of the main events of the year, Cow 
Cowabunga! Cowabunga collection finally dropping on the 30th. Packaging in so many Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. We cannot even handle how many there are. It is going to be one full playthrough after another. Full playthrough, full playthrough, full playthrough, full playthrough. All the full playthroughs of all the Turtles games, the entire catalog, running it back to Shredder's Revenge. It's all happening. I, I heard there's so many bonus extra behind the scenes stuff in this Cowabunga collection. It is going to be the event of the summer. Alright everybody, that is August, mostly in a nutshell. There's some other games, you know, some make the cut, some don't, nothing personal, I apologize. We are Easy Allies, and if you like what you saw, check us out on Patreon and Twitch and all the social medias. We got we got a TikTok now. <laughs> Crazy out there. I'm Michael Huber and it's just we're just counting down the days to Cowabunga collection. We'll see you there. <laughs>